closer look. Matt? Brian, I have to say this is what we needed. News that when it comes to the death toll here in Washington, the worst may actually be behind us as we hear from a local woman about why it is so important to stay home. Just because you have the virus doesn't mean it's a death sentence. That's Marianne Obenchain of Olympia, who has been dealing with the coronavirus and its impacts for more than two months. Here you see her in a hospital bed in California under supervised quarantine. She was one of those vacationing on the Diamond Princess cruise ship, where more than 700 people tested positive in February. The State Department evacuated 300 Americans from Japan, including Marianne. Okay, here's my mask. Who later tested positive, but never showed the typical symptoms. Still, she always took the approach she had to go above and beyond to protect others. For people who are having difficulties with this, I would say, don't look at that as what you can't do. Use your imagination and figure out what you can do without coming in contact with your neighbor. It may save a life, according to the U.S. Surgeon General, who delivered a dose of reality about the week to come. This is going to be the hardest and the saddest week of most Americans' lives, quite frankly. This is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment, our 9-11 moment, only it's not going to be localized. It's going to be happening all over the country. Although here in Washington, the worst may be behind us. New data from the UW suggests deaths in this state caused by the virus will peak again today, then continue to drop for the foreseeable future, but only if strict social distancing measures continue. What this virus survivor calls a must. It sounds like you believe that we all have a responsibility in this. Well, yes, it's, it's a personal responsibility because it's not a me, me, me thing. Dr. Christopher Murray, the UW professor behind this forecast, behind this model being used by the White House and others, says if we relax our social distancing, then the death toll will peak later, the burden on our hospitals will be greater, and the economic impacts will continue to grow. All reasons to stay home right now. Live on the east side, Matt Lorch, Q13 News.